everyone, it's Casey here and I have Arnie and today we're going to watch a video about heartworm. So Dr. Michelle, I have a three part question. First, we want to answer for um, folks, what is heartworm? We know we hear all about it, we know our dogs should be on prevention, but what is it and then what does prevention do and how often should dogs get it? Um, heartworm yeah. disease is a parasite that lives in the vessels of the heart and uh, the lungs. And it matures in dogs to uh, be located in that uh, area. And it's transmitted by mosquitoes and it will infect a dog by biting them and give them immature stages of the worm that will migrate through different tissues in the body. And what we try to achieve with preventative medicine is that they are on some sort of medication once a month. And what the drug does is it prevents those stages that the mosquito inseminates into the dog's skin from maturing into adults. So it works on the uh, larvae that are in the tissues of the dog and it essentially kills them off before they can mature into the uh, adult worms in the heart. So it's important that they're on that year round. Uh, in the Northeast, we used to only use it uh, during the summer months when mosquitoes are around, but we don't have great uh, seasonality anymore. It's been uh, very hard to determine when the mosquitoes are no longer around and when they start back up. So we use it 12 months out of the year. Does heartworm prevention prevent anything else besides heartworms? Many of the products are combination drugs, but even uh, as a single agent, they have benefits against intestinal parasites, and others have, <laughs> I'm getting interrupted, mm -hmm. have benefits also against uh, external parasites as well. I do know that a lot of people, especially when they're worried about finances, you know, are concerned about how much it costs to keep dogs on prevention year round. Tell me a little bit about what happens when you have to treat a dog for heartworm and you know, kind of the cost associated with that. Right, uh, the cost of, of heartworm treatment in a, in a dog is hundreds of dollars. And what happens is it's dangerous, it's never 100% certain that you're going to eliminate the, the parasite completely. It causes a lot of damage in organs that you can't ever um, eliminate. You may have permanent scarring mm. and damage. But the preventatives are minimal expense, they're pennies a day and you do it 12 days out of the year. And when it comes down to uh, taking the risk of them getting the disease and treating them for it, it's far more expensive and difficult. Some of the medications even have not been available to treat them. Just like in human medicine, we have a lot of medications that are not available as they used to be. And right now the heartworm treatment is uh, also in limited supply. Mm -hmm. So certainly the preventatives are the most inexpensive and easiest way to go and to keep them healthy. Right. Yep. So it's definitely worthwhile to use the preventative. Yes. Yeah. How do we see a lot of, I mean, I know heartworm is more prevalent in warmer climates, but in New York with the weather being as warm as it is, have, have you seen an increase in heartworm in areas? I think heartworm is pretty well known and I think people are already uh, geared up to use the preventatives because we don't see as much as we used to. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, we're seeing a lot of animals coming up from rescue groups that are uh, from the south and it's bringing some uh, greater incidence of heartworm disease to the Northeast, mm -hmm. and that part of it has contributed to the number of cases we see now. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. 